touch on, a little bit of a clean and a lick. Always good to catch up with our Inkahuma ladies. Sorry, Lou, who are the, the males of the Inkahuma Pride? Did I hear that incorrectly? For some reason, I'm struggling this morning. Oh, there we go. Okay, sorry, Cole. Um, you want to know who are the ruling males um, over the Inkahuma Pride. So the dominant males in this area are the Birmingham boys. They are the ones whose territory encompasses that of the females. And just to clarify for our new viewers, because this is a pretty common cause for confusion, a lion pride does not have a sort of resident male that stays with them all of the time, or a resident pair of males. A lion pride consists of females and their cubs. And once the male cubs reach sexual maturity, of course, they will disperse off. The females will generally stay within the pride for the rest of their lives. And then what happens is, throughout the course of the history of a pride, they will be dominated over, pretty much, by several different groups of males. So a male coalition, either a solitary male or a coalition of male lions, will get themselves a territory, they'll win themselves a territory, they'll be dominant over it for a number of years, during which time they will mate with several different females from several, diff several different prides, so father cubs with each of those prides, and then until they are essentially displaced by another group of males. So the current ruling members are the Birmingham boys, that's four male lions, who I have not seen in a very, very long time, and they seem to have made themselves quite scarce. They came racing onto Juma the other night when the Matimbas were sitting on the main access road. They came racing in as the Matimbas started roaring just to make sure that they didn't get any fancy ideas about coming back into their old territory. Immediately sending the Matimbas moving back towards Manuleti. But we haven't seen the Birmingham boys in a long time. Bob, you want to know when the Birmingham boys were last seen by us? I don't know. Brian, when last did you see a Birmingham boy? Mm, not a long while. I know, I think I, my last sighting was probably about a month ago. I mean, obviously they get seen pretty much every single day by other lodges that traverse different parts of this reserve. So they're around. I just haven't seen them on Juma, Arethusa or Cheetah Plains in a very long time. We might have to pay a visit to Cheetah Plains this afternoon and go and see what's happening there. It's been quite a while since we've checked up on that particular side of things. I know that the sticks, of course, have... That is another lion pride that the Birmingham males are dominant over. The sticks have four brand new little cubs. I'm sure many of you have seen the pictures. They are very, very new and utterly adorable. Perhaps the Bir Hopefully the Birmingham boys are hanging around, some of them at least, hanging around there making sure that those lionesses feel safe because any unknown male that comes in will kill cubs that have been sired by other male lions. It's just the law of the bush out here. Now the Inkohumas also were looking a bit spattered and scratched, much like the Birmingham boys. The Birmingham boys have now become proper scarred male lions with stories to tell in the past two years, but the Inkohumas were also looking a little bit tattered and a little bit scratched up which is one of the reasons why we started speculating that perhaps they'd come into contact with another lion pride, potentially. They all, none of the, the injuries are serious, it's just all nicks and scars. They could also be hunting-related injuries, it's impossible for us to ever know. But it's, that combined with their skittish behavior seems to suggest that they've had a confrontation with other lions. And the complete absence of amber eyes in that young female. It's quite common for lion prides to split up and then come together again. So it's nothing to be concerned about. I'm sure they will. We'll, one day we're going to drive around the corner and all five of them are going to be back together again. And Aussie mum, there you go. You wanted to know why they haven't joined the rest of the pride. I don't know. It could be that they're coming into estrus again. The last time I saw... Amber Eyes can't be pregnant because I saw her mating... Oh, she could be pregnant, but not ready to give birth because I saw her mating with one of the Birmingham boys during our third TV show. So that would have been around the middle of January that we saw them. So she's, she, she hasn't gone off to give birth. The younger female, I doubt it. Again, I doubt it. 
but it's possible. We just don't fully know. I think probably the strongest reason, or the strongest possible reason, is that it's because they've come into estrus. And then I think they get separated, and because the Matimbas have been around, the Inkawumas have gone completely silent. We no longer hear them roaring. And that might also be why they haven't managed to find each other again, just because they've separated and now they are skittish moving around and not making much noise. And you know, it's a relatively tough thing to predict where the rest of the pride has gone if you've become separated. It's possible they just haven't found each other yet. But I don't know where Amber Eyes and that young female are. I haven't heard any reports of them for a while. And don't forget, for our new viewers, send through your questions on hashtag Safari Live on Twitter, or you can email through to questions at wildearth.tv. Sleepy, sleepy lions.